This hour sponsored by Ruptly, the video news agency. This is NAB Show Live. Hello and welcome to NAB Show Live, brought to you by Broadcast Beat. I'm Tess Protesta. And I'm Paul Richards. And today we are so excited to be talking with Ari and Rubley, who are going to be telling us about their broadcasting services that are going on, including FIFA World Cup. So I cannot wait to talk to them. Ahmed, why don't we start with you? Why don't you tell us a little bit about Rubley and your business? Yes, so uh, Rubley is a global multimedia agency. Uh, we are headquartered in Berlin and we produce content. So we produce video content and we provide services to a broad range of clients. Um, to give, just to give a few numbers, uh, we have like around 80,000 videos in our archive until now, wow. which uh, were produced with a, a network of video journalists and producers in the field of around 3,000 people. And this content so far reached around 1,200 so 1,200 uh, clients of different uh, sizes and uh, different, let's say, um, in different uh, areas of broadcast. So um, this, of course, requires a versatile platform of distribution. So first of all, of course, uh, production in the field, but then also the uh, delivery to different clients. Uh, we provide this content to broadcasters but also uh, web publishers and bloggers. Uh, so just to name a few things that we're really proud of uh, is I can uh, say that we, um, last year we won the Golden Stevie for, wow. uh, in the content uh, segment for a video platform for um, media uh, in 2018, basically. And we, uh, our, our work uh, with the live platform, so we have a live platform that allows us to uh, bring uh, a high number of live feeds and live events to our clients with only three clicks. Uh, and this uh, also got us a nomination with the Digiday uh, Media Awards Europe for the live uh, platform. Uh, and another thing is uh, we had a big uh, FIFA coverage last year. So this also got us a nomination uh, in the same um, Digiday uh, Media Awards Europe um, for the uh, video team. So we had a very big coverage in the FIFA uh, last year uh, and got nominated uh, for this. Uh, one of our um, uh, service offering is our broadcast services. So um, this in combination with the FIFA, of course, uh, uh, was also a very big um, event for us. And we did a lot of uh, operations there and offered to our clients uh, many uh, different services uh, with our broadcast services, uh, which we actually call Rupti Ops. So um, uh, Rupti Ops uh, is our broadcast services department, actually. Yeah, speaking of uh, Rupley OPS, you said it's a broadcast services operation. Yes. We wanted to touch about Amira, and where does that fit in with that? Thomas, and the Bauhaus production. Yeah. So as Rob the Ops, we are offering our broadcast services to worldwide clients. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a wide network and uh, we have facilities all over the globe to offer to our clients. Uh, from studio operations like live stand-ups, we have, uh, for example, we, will, we have studios in uh, Berlin, London, we have Washington studio, we have a studio in uh, Moscow, uh, where we offer live studios with iconic backgrounds for our customers. Um, we are also offering just video production as a la carte services. We are offering SNG production, productions and we are offering OB band productions. So, and yeah, last year um, we got a big upgrade uh, in our uh, Rupley Ops. So, so we built two new cars, uh, one OB van, one SNG, which can operate as a single production unit. They are fully integrated to each other. And yeah, we had a quite unique approach in this because we were, have chosen Aria Mira cameras for broadcasting and this was quite unique at that time. So yeah, we decided to go with Amira because of their versatility and their image quality. 
And so this gave us a really, really good chance to have a, a wide range of productions. So we have a big versatility in productions. We have a wide, uh, so we have no limitations in, in what we can do with this van. So we can do news production, we can do sport production, we can do really high class concert productions, which we just recently did. We had, uh, in Germany, there was this 100 year Bauhaus Yes. Uh, anniversary of mm -hmm. uh, the School of Ar Architecture and uh, Design. And we did the opening concert, which was a quite challenging uh, production. So uh, we had just the stage light and we had just a very, very short time to, to, uh, to prepare the production. We had just three, uh, three hours to set it up because of security reasons, because wow. uh, the president of Germany was speaking with before, so we could only go in three hours before the production. Oh, well, before the first rehearsal, but we couldn't do anything then. So, um, yeah, and uh, I think the result was quite amazing. And uh, we also uh, had a screening in, in cinemas in Germany without any color grading. So we did a live production with, which was taped and just uh, broadcasted three days later in cinemas. So this was quite a challenging and I think the producers were really happy with us. So, um, yeah, I think we have a short video. We do, yeah. Why don't we go ahead and roll that? Yeah, let's take a look. about the Amira cameras, and they were used for the Bauhaus production. Can you tell us about why that was a good fit and some of the uh, video production quality within that? We're very glad that Dropley is using our cameras for these kind of productions. And as Thomas pointed out, uh, it were kind of challenging uh, conditions with all the lighting, with the event lighting being very contrasty. And our cameras have the largest dynamic range in the industry, so you can catch these kind of uh, uh, challenging conditions very well and still get, get the best image quality you can achieve in, in these conditions and that is something I think what is for Rapley also important that uh, they did not have much time to set up so they need a flexible camera system and they need, they need to react on different kind of conditions and different kind of productions very quickly but still can as a result get the best possible image quality. Wonderful, it sounds like it's great. Wow, and I think that's so much fun. I, I was interested in about this OB van, Thomas. I don't, I don't know if you could tell me a little bit about the OB van and why you built that with the Amira cameras from Ari. Okay, yeah. The OB van was built uh, initially for the World Cup in Russia in, uh, last year. So, um, yeah, we, would, we had, have decided in January to, to build a new BO van, OB van to um, improve our, our facilities, which we can deploy to Russia for that time. So, and yeah, we, we took some time in investigating uh, new technologies and um, yeah, so we did, we did a quite, I think, from my perspective, <laughs> it was a quite good job because uh, the, uh, the production unit worked really well because, uh, about the integration of both vans. We had this SNG and the OB van, which, which are integrated. And so, yeah, we did, um, a lot of things during the World Cup, uh, not only, uh, right. especially the, our Wapli Ops did a lot. We had uh, facilities in all 11 host countries with studios, with stand-up, uh, host cities, sorry, with um, studios, with stand-up positions, at the fan zones, we had stand-up positions for our customers. So, uh, and also content-wise, we did uh, uh, really much because, uh, so we had more than 1,400 videos which we produced during the World Cup which were taken by more than, uh, or which were downloaded more than 16,000 times. And we produced 300 live streams uh, from the World Cup um, for more than 300 clients. Um, and uh, including some, some really big broadcasters like ESPN, Fox Sports, HBO, and so on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think the, the um, FIFA World Cup did really good for us. So, um, and we were also nominated for the Digi, Digi Day Award for the video team of the year about our uh, World Cup coverage. Wow. 
So, um, yeah, I think uh, we have also a small video for this. We do. So. Why don't we roll the FIFA World Cup coverage? So, Marcus, I understand your cameras were used for this project. Can you tell us a little bit about the challenges and, and what your cameras offer for this type of uh, event? I think, um, I mean, when we started the Amira, we, we designed it in the first place as a new and style camera. And over, the, over time, we expanded the functionality into uh, different kind of applications, and especially into the multicam application. And for that matter, our system was always designed as a very open, very flexible system and that uh, allows our customers also to uh, integrate our, our, our system to their system because we have open interfaces, we are flexible with the, with the tools we can work with. And uh, for, for that matter, I think it was a, a good fit for, for Rapli uh, because their requirements for the OB-WAN were uh, very specific in terms of weight and in terms of size of the OB-WAN. And uh, because they could adjust the certain components they needed for, for that integration, they could, could uh, meet these requirements very well. Excellent. Ahmed, tell us what's the future for Repli Ops? Yeah. What can we expect? I think with all this set, that was a very good example. The, uh, the FIFA and the Bauhaus production, that was, that, was an, that was an example of what we're going to do in the future as well. So coming to our strategic alignment and our, what, what we see in the future, is so on a technical level, of course, we don't have the luxury to say, okay, we're just gonna do something average. So that's not possible because we have broadcast clients in the broadcast sector who are nowadays even asking more than 4K. So wow. th there, is, there is clients who are mentioning, okay, when will you have 4K content and what about 8K? We hear you there. Do you already have a plan? So of course, we have a solid strategy uh, yeah. to be able to provide our content in 4K uh, in, in the midterm future, uh, but also services like uh, with the OB-WAN. Our OB-WAN is fully 4K. Um, but again, coming back to Rapli Ops, uh, with the uh, Euro 2020 uh, soccer championship coming up, uh, we also improve our facilities. So uh, everywhere in Europe, we will be able to provide um, services at least with the same quality that we had in, uh, in FIFA. Uh, and we're also expanding in the Asian region. So we are uh, looking right now, or we're establishing right now a studio in Tokyo for the uh, Summer Olympics, again in uh, 2020. Um, and we also are establishing right now a studio in China. So Rub the Ops is growing, Rub the Ops is moving forward, and uh, uh, I believe uh, we will achieve a lot. Well, I think we have just a couple more minutes. I don't know if uh, Thomas, you know, is the head of the product. Do you have any other anything you want to add about the future of, of Rupley in, in this broadcast space? Sorry, is there anything you want to add at the end of the of the production? Sorry, it's a, yeah, it's a what was the question? Hmm? Production. Uh, production wise, okay. So yeah, we're really hoping to get uh, more of these productions of, of like these Bauer's productions. Um, these are really good, and I think uh, we are well prepared for, for things like that. And yeah, especially what Ahmed mentioned, the Euro 2020 will be, will be coming soon. So it will be a whole, all, all over Europe. It's, it's the first time it will not be in one country. It will be uh, spread over Europe. So that will be challenging for us. And, but we have a really good network to, to cover all those, those areas and uh, to deploy our, our vans and our SMGs to, to these uh, uh, facilities so um, yeah I think we are well prepared for the future and yeah. Marcus is there anything you'd like to add about Amira and the future there? Sorry I didn't hear the question again. So is there anything you'd like to add about Amira and what you foresee yeah. in the future? We're very happy that Rubly has decided for, for our camera system so that uh, was a 
for our uh, product offerings, uh, having a news agency deciding for our cameras was, was a very nice move following our strategy that we want to expand more into that broadcast environment. As you may know, we come from more from the cinema side of things like with, with our other cameras. And the Amira was designed from the beginning as a broadcast camera and we more and more moved into that business. And Rapply as a news agency was a, was a great customer for us to show that there's a great reality in, in, our, in, in the Amira capabilities. And uh, what they do with the camera is, is a great reference for us. They do news, they do these kind of shows like Bauhaus and all kind of sports and, and, and these kind of things. And for us, it's great to have Rapply as a customer. What an excellent collaboration. Yeah, it's, it's so great to hear this. Thank you so much for coming on the show, everybody. This has been so much fun. Um, Thank really you. exciting to hear about from FIFA to all the different cities that you guys are going to be available in globally. It's really, it's really exciting. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining us. That was roughly with Marcus, Thomas, and Ahmed. And we are live from the NAB show. It's day one here at the NAB show. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the Central Hall lobby area that we're in. And that was Rupley and Ari giving us some of the really great details about their international live streaming and broadcast production business. A lot to be learned from this cinematic quality cameras being used in broadcast. It's so much fun. Stick with us, everybody, because we're going to be going to some live interviews on the showroom floor. And next, we're actually going to be talking to LinkedIn. That's right, Microsoft's LinkedIn product is adding live streaming. And Tess is really excited about it, I know. Absolutely. This hour sponsored by Ruptly, the video news agency.